Hi, this is Steve Wilson with The Educated Investigator, and welcome to Quick Tips. In today's Quick Tip, we're going to look at a way to search PACER for uh, related cases. And, and by that I mean um, we can search within a district, within a particular time period in that district, for all cases sharing the same charge. So we'll just walk through that one time. It, it's a very handy tool for a few different reasons. Um, I've used it a couple times when working on cases where the defense theory was selective prosecution. And we wanted to be able to compare the way that our client's case was managed and charged with the way that other similar cases were managed and charged. So let's go in here. Uh, I'm on the PACER website here, and I'm going to choose one of these district courts. Uh, let's just choose Florida at random. And once we're into Florida, we're going to go up to here. All the district courts pages look very similar, and there's going to be a line up here. It's a link that says Document Filing System. Click on that. That takes us into the official court electronic document filing system. And we're going to go up to reports, down to criminal reports. There's only one option here. We're going to choose that, criminal cases. OK, so the criminal cases report page, there's several different drop down menus. I'm not going to do anything with these at the top. Um, one thing I am going to change is the citation because this is the most important part. This is where you get to look up the case by the criminal charge. This is a long list. A lot of different things in here to choose from. So depending on what case you're working on, you probably have something in mind. Uh, if you happen to know the statute, you can type that in. It'll come up. But I'm just going to pick simple assault. Count status. So I'm going to choose both pending and disposed. Because if I'm doing a selective prosecution case, I want to be able to look at, throw a fairly wide net, at least in the beginning. And I want to be able to look at cases that have been completed. Those might actually be the most useful to me, since those attorneys and defendants are going to be more open to talking with me than if they're in the middle of some sort of uh, negotiations with the prosecutors. Um, here's the filing dates. I'm going to make this 2013. Now we have a five-year range at which we're going to look. And then I'm also going to choose both pending and terminated defendants, again, so we can have a case where either it's open or it's closed. And I'm going to go down here to run report. Click that. So what we have here is a list. It's fairly short. There's only two people on it. And this is everybody in the Middle District of Florida, the five-year period, 2013 to 2018, who were charged in federal court with simple assault. So if we wanted to, we could follow up on one of these. run the docket sheet, run the uh, report on it, and now we can have a list of who the attorney was and the entire docket sheet with all the action taken on the case. And of course, every single one of these highlighted numbers being a document that if we want to read we can choose to read as long as you have a PACER account. So that is today's quick tip for how to use PACER in order to locate criminal cases by citation number. Thanks for viewing. We'll see you next time.